Now, continuing with uh, chapter um, six, let's see, let's get in this. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Oops. All right, so we had uh, covered this information about charge, how charge, and you know, there's a fundamental charge of the smallest charge. And uh, all charge that we find in nature is is whole number multiples of this fundamental charge, and it's negative if it's uh, you know electrons that make up the charge, and positive if it's protons that make up the charge. All right. So um, now we're going to find that, of course, uh, charges um, attract or repel each other, and uh, this was first discovered by a guy named Coulomb. Uh, it's called Coulomb's law. There's the equation. Notice there's a constant in this equation. Um, it's a constant of nature. It's called Coulomb constant. And so uh, it's 9 times 10 to the ninth, And the units are uh, Newtons times meters squared per Coulomb squared. And so uh, this, is, this is the formula. We're going to do an example of it. Um, they, uh, it's a good idea to point out that this formula takes on the same even though we didn't do this, uh, you know, it, we, when we were talking about mechanics, it takes on the same um, shape, if you will, of, of the gravitational, of Newton's law of universal gravitation. So uh, if you look at it, that this is um, that when two objects attract each other to, just due to gravity, there's a constant, a universal constant, and um, they are divided by the distance between them squared. And uh, notice for charges, right, that it's the product of the two charges divided by the distance between them squared. All right, so uh, let's do a quick example of that. All right, so uh, I'm, I drew a little picture over here to kind of get a better sense of what's going on. So uh, these blobs right here and here are two charges, Q1 and Q2, respectively, and they're a distance d apart. Now, um, the force between them is given by, of course, the Coulomb equation. Here it is. Um, the force is equal to a constant K times the product of the two charges. The two charges have to be in Coulombs. They both have to be in Coulombs. Um, often in the examples that we're going to that we're going to uh, do as homework um, or on the test, uh, they, they won't be in exactly in Coulombs. You'll have to change them. Um, and then the distance between the two uh, will be in uh, meet has to be in meters, as I indicated down here. The force is, uh, you know, the, the standard international units of force um, in this equation. That, of course, is newtons. All right. So, uh, so we'll, and, and then, of course, here's the constant. This is a universal constant um, for, uh, for charges. It's called the Coulomb constant. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and do an example. Um, here, let's scoot this up a little bit. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give you an example very similar to what you might have in the book uh, as homework or as I, like I said or uh, as a test. So let's say Q1 is negative 200 micro coulombs. So this is. Um, you need notice right away you're going to be needing your metric prefixes All right so uh, let's say q2 is equal to we'll make q2 positive um, let's say it's positive uh, I don't know how about uh, how about um, positive 150 I'm just making this up uh, let's say nano coulombs and the distance between these two charges d is let's say um, let's say uh, 14 14 centimeters so all three of these uh, have to be converted um, from you know from what the metric prefix is to uh, you know, basically to change it into units that you can plug into this this equation right here. Okay, so the Coulomb equation. All right, so uh, let's let's get started. This is if you know your metric prefixes, this is really uh, trivial. 
So this is going to equal uh, negative 200. And micro means, the, de the definition of micro is times 10 to the minus 6th coulombs. And the, the Q2 is a charge of 150. Nano means times 10 to the minus 9th coulombs. And centi, uh, I mean, is times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, so let's write it like that. So it's going to be 14 uh, times 10 to the minus 2. And of course, what this means is you move the decimal place, uh, which is would be right here, two places to the left. And uh, so, oh, and this is coulomb. Oh, oops, sorry, not coulombs. This is uh, here. Can you scratch that out. This is actually meters, right? Because it's units of distance. But this could also be written if I move the decimal place two places to the to the left. Um, that's going to be zero point. Uh, one four, one four um, meters. Okay, so so uh, we can write it like this: fourteen times ten to the minus two, or point one four meters. Both of them, of course, are in meters. All right, so uh, let's let's put this into the equation. Put these these numbers. Okay, the the ones um, you know without the metric prefixes, the actual numerical values. And uh, into into the formula, and let's uh, let's do that now. And uh, all right, so so here's the constant, and then I'm just going to put this. This is going to get a little messy. So this is going to be times negative two hundred times ten to the minus sixth coulombs uh, times the uh, the other charge which is positive 150 times 10 to the minus ninth coulombs that's a nine all right and then remember we have to divide by the distance uh, squared so the distance between them in meters of course is going to be 0 0.14 meters but we square that all right so notice uh, let's take a quick look at the units um, here we have coulombs times coulombs and that's going to cancel so this this coulomb squared down here will cancel these two J just to show you the units work out just fine um, and then the meters squared cancels this meters squared remember you're still squaring the uh, you're still squaring the 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 0.14. All right, so uh, I'll let's let's actually do this and see what the okay. So when I put all the numbers in on my calculator, I get a negative 13.8. It's like 13.77, but uh, that's fine if we round it. So it's negative 13.8. And notice the only units left are newtons over here. And of course, force has to be in newtons. Um, a couple of things about this, like if we go back to the original picture up here, um, the fact that one of the, one of these charges is negative indicates that there's an attractive force. So, you know, if you think about it, if you had two positives in this equation, that would give you a positive force. Two negatives would also give you a positive force. So, if the force is positive, I guess the the overall lesson here is that if the force comes out positive, it's attractive. If it comes out negative, then um, uh, I'm sorry, the other way around. If if it comes out positive, it's repulsive. If it comes out uh, negative, then it's an attractive force, right? Because of course, in this case, we have a negative charge and a positive charge. They attract each other. That's the direct. In other words, the direction of the force is towards one another. All right, and uh, there's a good example right there.